What up, y'all? Tight shirt, Ted Warfield, back for another video. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. Hey, remember to be thankful for your life today because you did not have to have that. On with the meat potatoes. In this video today, we are talking about video editing. And yes, as you saw, CapCut did sponsor this video, but here's the thing. I already used CapCut, so when they reached out to me, it was like, hey, Terry, you want to work on some content together? I was like, absolutely. So a lot of y'all know CapCut already. You know, especially if you use Instagram or TikTok and there's a fire detector, CapCut is responsible for most of the stuff that you see on these short form networks. You know, when you see the people dancing and the, the frame is kind of following them back and forth, or you see the people with the super cool captions on them, or you see the people that, you know, their little circles and they dissolve away into the actual image. Yeah all of that's CapCut. And the best part about CapCut is this for Android and iPhone, and most of it is free. There is a pro version that has some advanced stuff in it, but the majority of people use the free version because it's so robust to be free software. And it can interface directly with TikTok, there's sound effects and all that stuff in there. So if you don't have CapCut and you do short form content, it's really something that you should download and check out. But in this video, I actually wanna hone in on something different. A lot of y'all know about CapCut Mobile, but did you know that CapCut has a full freaking desktop app for windows and mac and it is really really good and there's also a free version with the pro upgrade if you want the really really advanced stuff but here's the thing about the desktop app it's just as good as most other desktops out there and it's really tailored towards creative so what i mean is it's got all the advanced stuff in it the track and the color grade and all of that stuff is free but it's also roped in with social media stuff. So it's got the TikTok music library built into it. It's got the auto captioning system built into it and stabilization, all these other crazy things that I'm about to show y'all. It's got all this advanced stuff, but it's super easy. So the first thing I wanna do is I don't keep a lot of projects inside of CapCut or on my computer in general, just for space reasons, but I did make a little reel right here that I wanted to show you. And I made this entire thing in CapCut. I'm gonna show you the vertical version first, full screen, and don't get it twisted. You could do horizontal content in CapCut also. Let me play this. This is my 2020 Ram 1500. As you see, it's red on black. Nothing special about it, but she mine. Okay, now let me let the timeline play at the same time. This is my 2020 Ram 1500. As you see, it's red on black. Nothing special about it, but she mine. Okay, so again, that entire thing was created in CapCut in about five minutes. No cap or exaggeration. So I wanna break this down real quick. I'm gonna start with the footage itself. Now, obviously the footage came from a camera that I had already filmed previously, but if we go up here to our inspector tab up here, I'm gonna call it inspector because that's what it's typically called on all other programs. So of course you could do your scaling and stuff like that and you can change the blend mode opacity, but you see stabilization is included for free, right? Noise reduction is also included, although it is a pro feature and video flicker removal is included also. If we go back up here to the inspector, there's an option for cut out, which I'm gonna show you guys and gals in another clip. There's masking and enhancements in here. If we go to audio, all of your audio tools are in here. Now, there's not like a super advanced audio engine built into it, but just for social stuff, this is more than enough. There's speed adjustments in here, and for speed ramp snobs like me who love watching the car content, where it's all the whoosh and whoosh this, like all of that stuff is built into it. And there are built in preset curves for speed ramping, and this is so so good there's an animation tab so you can do all types of crazy stuff with the footage you can make it bounce or move left or move right or shake all that stuff is built into it and as you see some of it's free some of it's pro stuff tracking is also built into it and here's the thing about tracking again it works for stickers all the stuff that's available in the library. That's the cool thing about this software is there's not really any like restrictions on stuff that you can and cannot do. You can, you know, track captions and all that stuff, but tracking is built into it and it works super good. Now, when it comes to color grading, if we go back up here to our inspector window, you can actually use your own LUTs if you're into that. You have your basic adjustments down here for temperature, hue, saturation, etc. but there's an HSL tab, which is really, really good. Now, in Final Cut Pro, to be honest, that's the other software I use. I have to pay for something like this and this is built in when it comes to cap cut so you can isolate colors if you want to if i wanted to take red i can move it around change the color of it change the saturation the brightness of it all that good stuff and do that with all the other colors curves is built in color wheels is here too but color wheels is a pro feature 
Now, let's talk about captions because captions is one of the best features of CapCut in my opinion. Uh, I didn't have any captions or words on this video. So what I did was if you press this little microphone icon right here, I was able to record a voiceover directly to my current project. If I go to text up here in the left hand corner, there is an option for auto captions, right? Now, once you press this, it gets all the captions for you. It's very, very accurate. Now, this is where you use captions and CapCut to separate yourself from the rest of the herd right now. We know that Instagram and TikTok has their own auto captioning feature in there, but it's not that great and it's not that robust. And if you use theirs, then it ends up looking like everybody else as well. Once it has all of your captions in here, the good thing about it is even though it all, you know, to string them all together for you, you can separate the captions and put them where you want on the screen. Once you do that, you can also change the way they look and et cetera, et cetera. I just made a few small adjustments to make the captions pop out versus using the respective social medias built in captioning engine now again remember when we talked about the animate tab you could put animations on the captions and you could change the fonts and move them around and all that stuff so this is where you can really make your video stand out so auto captioning is crazy but you can also get your captions off of other audio clips that have cap cut strip the captions out for you which is a whole different thing that I'm not gonna show you in this video the next thing is I want to talk about audio this music and sound effects came from CapCut's library. Now, if we go up to audio up here, you can see that right here it says trending. So TikTok is right up top. So this does pull from TikTok's audio library. However, it only pulls the stuff that's approved to post. So that means if you went on an old Jay-Z song or you ripped it off and slowed it down, yeah, that stuff won't show up in here. But it's a good way for you to see what audio is trending in here because you know, when it comes to posting social media content, you should be trying to use trending audio, et cetera, if you want maximum exposure. But anyways, I was able to go in here, music, you can break it down by what type of genre you're into. And if you're into sound effects, those things are included also. So I just went in here, found an appropriate song. There's also a feature in here, if you like to track out your timeline first, it can detect where the cuts are and pick an appropriate song for you, which is some crazy AI stuff. But for me, I found a song that worked. And then once I did that, I use some transitions in here. Now these transitions are part of CapCut and they're free. And a lot of editors do give you transitions included, but typically they're the super rinky dink little basic transitions. No, these are actually really, really good transitions. So I wanted to use a glitch one. And then I went and got a sound effect, TV static sound effect from the sound library. And this is what I did with it. This is my 2020 Ram 1500. As you see, it's red on black. Nothing special about it, but she mine. So all your whooshes and stuff like that are in there. And again, this was just a basic edit that I slapped together in five minutes, but this would have taken me so much longer with other softwares out there, specifically dealing with the captions and stuff like that. I got one other project I wanna show y'all. So let's go back to homepage. By the way, CapCut is dope because it does save as you go along. But anyways, let's go into Angie and I wanna show y'all a few things, right? So first of all, you see this first thing on top that says adjustment. If you go up here to where it says adjustment, yo, there's a built-in adjustment layer in CapCut. So that means if you, if you have a whole bunch of tracks over here on the left hand side right you want to do a global color grade to them all you could just put the adjustment layer right on top and it'll cascade down all the clips underneath that super amazing to be built in but i want to show y'all something real quick because cap cuts ai stuff is actually next level which is why it's so popular so if i were to go ahead and come up here to the enhance tab it automatically detects a face now some of this stuff is included, some of it's pro, but just look at it real quick. So let's just say I wanted to change her skin tone. It automatically puts a mask on all the different parts of her face. So let's do her skin first. If I wanted to change her complexion, I could click any of these colors and just change the way it looks. And these actually look natural. They don't look fake. And I can obviously adjust the warmth and the degree of it, but that's crazy that you could go in and just adjust somebody's skin tone like that and it looks great also you can go and smooth their skin you can brighten up their face you can whiten their teeth and if you go down here to the facial beauty tab it actually splits it out into face eyes nose mouth and down here is where you could do sort of like a liquefied thing so if i wanted to like change the shape of her face look i can just change the shape of her face if i wanted to change the length of her chin i could change the length of her chin if i wanted to keep adjusting stuff you could like all of the ai stuff built into this is actually really really amazing there's also another feature here called auto cutout right so i'm going to click on this real quick and show you this now this does take some processor power so it may take a minute on your machine but if you press that it automatically cuts her out and removes the background you don't have to do anything else and if you wanted to you can put another video clip behind it and use that as a background layer but one other thing i want to show you real quick if you press this little icon right here you can actually create a thumbnail from this video clip so i'm going to turn the auto cutout off and then confirm 
I'm gonna press this. Then I can go in here and let's say just use this, right? Select from video, edit. Now I can go in here and create thumbnails right inside of here. And I can, you know, obviously put all the different captions and text and stuff like that, and then export that as a thumbnail, which is crazy. If you go up here, there's two tabs. So you got video effects, and these are like all of the popular things you see. I really wanna go down here to body effects. And again, this is just stuff to be creative with. So if we were to put in like the, the lighting eyes and drop that on here, look at, look at that, look at that. Ain't that crazy? And I don't have to do anything. Like there's no open and after effects and all that stuff. If you don't want to mess with LUTs and all that stuff, look at all of these effects that are built into it. It's an easy way to get some color grading action going. Some of these are better than others, obviously, but I'm just trying to show you all of the built in effects in here that you could go in here and mess with. You can adjust the intensity on this. You can even stack more than one. So if you wanted to blend some of them together, I could go on and on about CapCut, right? The point I'm trying to make is look how much stuff is given to you for free. And and again, a lot of this stuff is given to you in other programs, not to this level. The AI stuff is crazy. The built-in audio library, the built-in like auto captions and like all of that stuff built in and it's geared towards social media online creation. And all of these things that you could do in here may be possible in other software, but it's really, really easy and everybody could do this, which is where the difference comes from. And you can upload directly to TikTok, etc. Now I'm losing my voice. So anyways, there is a link down below for you to try out CapCut. Try it out for yourself. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, like Denzel Watts, I, I guarantee you. Once you start using CapCut, you won't want to go back and try out anything else. Go download it right now from the link in the description. <laughs> that, was, that was probably a horrible impersonation. But anyways, you get my point. Again, shout out to CapCut for sponsoring today's video. And let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. So till next time, I'm out of here. Peace and chicken grease. Tyshirt Terry Warford. I'm out. Peace.